calls us on HB 1249. I haven't even asked how they went in their committee this morning, but I would tell you I'm offended that on HB 1249 that we are raising the bar on what you've got to do to be able to carry a gun. We have just added more restrictions as Republicans. We have just added more costs to you just here in the state. Please talk about the revenue generator. Just came from that talk. Had about all I could take. <laughs> I'm glad that it ended sweet and short because they were there to get revenue. And it was part of the conversation, Representative Ballinger. And to me, that is wrong that we are going to make it an exclusive right to carry your weapon for self-defense. If you don't have the money and you don't have the time to put in the extra hours, you'll get squatted. Well, they have, they're going to be a cost. There's a price to pay. We're fixing to screw the people more out of their right to carry a gun and see I don't like it. I, I do not like it one bit. It makes me mad. I know people all day long have told Republicans, we want to carry concealed too, but we can't afford it. What are they going to do? Go unarmed to be legal. So it's a problem for me, and it's a real passionate passion for me that if people choose to have their second amendment right, that is a basic right. And they should be able to have it. If you want to pay that price for that conceal, if not, by gosh, everybody start carrying it on their gift. We'll let everybody know that you still have your gun. I don't, I mean, I think that should be a choice. And we have that. We offer that here in Arkansas. We offer the right to get a license. But when we strap people and say, you now more can't afford it. That concerns me of what we're doing as conservatives. So I would think today if there was a conservative caucus in the legislature, it'd be mighty thin. We say in the Senate, we can beat under the stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, there's a clause under the stairwell. Just a note for a few of us. And a few would be all that we need to enter. And I love, don't take me wrong, get me wrong. There are just some people uh, have differences of opinions. That's why we're all here, what that means. And so for me, I don't think that we opened up anything on campus, carry people inside. We, we have burdened the people with the amount of restrictions that we have to have and the cost. We're going to fund, we're going to help fund the state draw by troopers, folks, by getting those concealed carry licenses. And it's wrong to me well, that we want to defend up. ourselves. We, you don't know. That was part of it. Did y'all right. settle it's that today? Well, I they actually, and I, I don't, I don't want to. We're on different sides of this issue, even though we're both right. both gun nuts. But the 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 issue is that there's actually nothing in the language that allows them to collect a fee. They were freaking out in committee because, uh, and actually, were trying to kill it in committee because that it was going to cost them more money. Now they're not allowed to try to kill it. The governor didn't want them to try to kill it, but they were. So it created a little bit of drama in committee. But it it. Uh, it, they don't like it because they think it's going to cost them some money without there being any revenue. The, the training in it would be all whatever the training costs for that is charged by the concealed carry permit. So the only only additional cost would be to replace the license. The you know if you're going to get a license with an endorsement and it's the fifteen dollars, which is what it costs if you lose your license to get another license. So that's the only thing at this point they think they're authorized to charge, and they're complaining about it because they want revenue and they don't like it. And eventually, you guys know they'll get revenue. Well, the wrong representative, because uh, I believe that's the truth. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the governor is very protective of their revenue, and they they you know are convinced they need new revenue. And before we lay anybody off, and before they lay anyone off in state police, they're going to find more revenue. Matt, yeah, that's that's the truth. And, and that was the conversation today. I'll give you the heads up. Yeah, Representative Bowden, because they are talking. Revenue generated. Yeah, they're, they're complaining because we're putting more responsibilities on them yes. without giving them any additional yes. money. And that's a, what a true legitimate issue. Yeah. That's a truly legitimate issue for them, isn't it? Yeah, it, I, I think it is at the same more. time. Now they're going to have to do more. So I, I think all of us should do more with less when we're dealing with state taxpayers' money, though. I, 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 I